Okay, so I'm here with my older sister, Bambi, and she's gonna answer our questions. Can you start by giving us, you know, your kids' age and names? I have two, mom of two. Azalea is five and Uriah is three. Okay, so we're gonna start with some questions now. We all know being a mother is a life-changing event, but other than having to take care of two other humans, how else has it affected your life? Um, I think it's affected my life tremendously. I feel being a mom changes your life from the moment you get pregnant. Um, from the way that you eat to the way that you work out, just everything. But it has changed my life tremendously. It's taught me patience. Um, I used to be the most impatient person ever, but now you're on their time whatever you do is based on them so it's definitely taught me patience okay and how do you balance your time as a mother i personally feel like everyone needs to take some time to themselves do you get this chance during the day or anything like that we have them on a sleep schedule so by nine o'clock they're in bed i feel like that is my time whether it's watching netflix or watching a basketball game to me, it doesn't necessarily mean going out to getting time away, but I do feel as long as you're doing something that you like, um, something that you enjoy, I feel like that is good enough for me. Um, going to the grocery store by myself is a huge, huge break. Um, also working, being at work with people who aren't toddlers and talking to other adults, that helps a lot. Okay, thank you for that. And what is the best piece of advice you can give to new mothers or mothers who are struggling? I feel like um, if you aren't ready for a child as far as being in a steady relationship, I definitely would recommend waiting. Um, I definitely think you and your partner should take the time to enjoy yourself, your relationship, because once you have a child, it is no longer about you. It takes you 30 minutes just to be able to go to the store, and that's just getting them ready. Um, I definitely feel that you should just wait until you know that you're ready. Um, having a baby changes, like I said, everything, your relationship with your partner is gonna change drastically, and I feel like if you do not have a strong foundation, kids is definitely something that you can wait on, definitely. Okay, so I'm here with Sierra. Hi. Who works with me, by the way. Um, <laughs> can you start by introducing your children, well, your child to us? My child, her name is Nebula, and she's a one and a half years old. Okay, so we all know being a mother changes your life, but how has it changed your life other than having to take care of someone else? It's changed it drastically. Um, I guess from when I got pregnant, going through everything with her dad, um, he got all the sickness. I didn't, I just got heartburn here and there, but he was sick and dying, but we had to get through it. Um, so I didn't really used to be an emotional person until after I had her. Um, like I was just telling you, I got, I got emotional during Dumbo because I compared her to Dumbo if we were separated like that. Um, it's everything, financially everything changes. You know, most of your money has to go to the baby. Um, How do you balance your me time with being a mother? I personally feel everyone needs to take some time to themselves to kind of help you keep your sanity. Do you get this chance at all? I rarely do. Um, everything I do has to do with the baby she's with me or Javier's with me. Um, most of the time I'm never alone. Uh, I'm lucky if I get to shower alone. Um, she takes a shower with me. It's just easier that way. Um, usually me being in bed, as long as I get to relax in bed for a little bit, I'll play on my phone, regular mom things. You know, I'm tired, but I won't fall asleep because I'm playing on my phone and I just can't fall asleep. That's my time and she sleeps next to me. 
I know I'm a bad mom because she still sleeps with me. But she's comfortable that way. I'm more comfortable that way. But I need her to get out of the bed. <laughs> so what advice would you have to offer new moms out there or moms that are struggling? If you decide you want to get pregnant, make sure that you're ready emotionally, financially, in your relationship because everything is going to change. Um, if you're not ready, there's always ways to prevent it. There is birth control. Um, if your mom's against it, talk to her and be like, Mom, I'm going to come home with the child if you don't help me out. I try to tell this to the younger kids who try and ask. And I tell them, like, look, this is what's going to happen. I'm an adult and it happens, you know. It's, it's a struggle here and there, but, you know, we get by doing what we have to do. But just be ready to grow up if you decide that you want to go ahead and take that step. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. So I just want to thank Bambi and Sierra for participating and allowing me to interview them and giving me their insight and I do want to thank all of my friends that I talked to and asked questions to and got their opinions on. You know, I think it takes a lot to be a mom. It's not something that I think should be done without being thought about and a lot of consideration. Um, but for all the moms out there who do, well, for everyone out there who is a mother, who has been a mom, you know, or anything like that, um, thank you for all your effort. It's, I've learned from just talking to my friends and my family and the people that I know around me who are moms. It's, it's a difficult thing to do. It's, it's very, you know, unexpected. You never know what you're gonna get, especially managing multiple kids you know some people I know don't just have one they have two they have three you know it's crazy to have to manage more than just yourself because me now sitting here I can manage myself and I'm Zeus and that's about it you know he's a little much for me but thank you so much for participating I hope you guys like today's video you know just give me your opinions your feedbacks how you feel anything like that give me you know different topics you'd like to talk about anything you think would be a good